welcome to the show. Click that subscribe button, let's get ready to go. We'll explore together, laugh and maybe learn. Every click and comment, much love in return. Welcome to my channel, let's make memories. Every day adventure, join our family. From vlogs to reactions, challenges and more. Every week a new post will open up the door. Gaming nights and fun times, DIYs in store. Share this journey with me, you won't be bored no more. Welcome to my channel, let's make memories. Everyday adventure, join our family. Reactions, challenges, and more. Every week a new post will open up the door. Gaming nights and fun times, DIYs in store. Share this journey with me, you won't be bored no more. Welcome to my channel, let's make memories. Every day adventure. Okay, so this is my first video uh, presenting myself as the creator behind AI Sings the Psalms. And the reason I'm creating a video is because I have reached 100 subscribers. So I'm really pleased to see that there are some people out there who, uh, who are enjoying this series. It encourages me to keep on doing it. So my name is Wes, I am by trade worked in consulting for many years, now I, I manage some consultants. I do this in my free time. And really the motivation behind it is creating this series. It's really because uh, for the longest time I have uh, read the Psalms and I found, you know, reading them, reading them without context, without music, just on a, a page, as words on a page, there's certainly some you know, there are some emotional words and there are some emotional songs, but a lot of them actually don't always resonate in Western Christianity. We, there's a lot of there's a lot of worship and praise songs that are, take inspiration from the Psalms. But I find that a lot of these are, are, are pretty much taking maybe just a few verses and they tend to be very, they tend to always be kind of very positive verses and very affirming um, and they're all about sort of relationship with God and, and love and, and joy and all that and there's nothing wrong with that but you know there's another side to the Psalms and that is um, that is the, the the judgment of God that is the Psalmist reaching out and saying hey I'm I'm in danger of being pursued by enemies they're all around me they're, they're crushing me and these are things that we don't perhaps we don't sing about in church enough it's things that we perhaps sometimes don't even talk about in church enough. So I just think of verses from Psalm 7, which I set to a heavy metal because some of the, so much of the words in that Psalm speak out to me. I was for a long time Iron Maiden fan and uh, they also take a lot of inspiration from the Bible, uh, from the Psalms. Um, but there is you know, lines like verse 13 talking about uh, God's judgment he has prepared for himself the instruments of death he makes ready his flaming arrows as talking about taking out the enemy and, and bringing justice i think without getting too much in into hermeneutics or, or getting into the philosophy of the bible or, or getting into those types of things I, I do think that there is something important in the judgment of god and there's something about taking the whole psalm and, and reading and reading through the whole psalm and really and listening to the psalm set to music that really de delivers feelings it 
takes you into that. It takes you into the, the emotions and perhaps the pain that the psalmist is, is, is going through and suffering at this time. We, we often pray to God when we're going through suffering or going through difficult times, but we, for some reason we don't, we don't sing about those things. So I think in a way it's, it's, it's nice to have something like the times that we're living in on the cusp of this AI revolution where we can now be able to unlock things like the Psalms, set them to set them to some contemporary music and really get the feeling of them. When I discovered Suno, but when I realized the power of that platform, I realized that this this has a massive potential for for being able to unlock the Psalms and unlock the music within them and the feelings within them and, and all the words and all the all the verses. And it is really amazing because as you actually listen to this psalm being sung, some of it is just it really does kind of, it really does resonate in a way that it doesn't if you're just reading words on a page. So that's really my motivation for doing this. And so yeah, the reason I'm making this video is because I've reached 100 subscribers. I'm really, really grateful everybody subscribed. Um, it, gen it definitely means that I, there's, there's something in this and that I, I want to continue and get through all or 100, 150 of the Psalms. And then the exciting thing is, is there's actually other songs in the Bible. There's even, a, there's even a Psalm that is not in the book of Psalms in the Bible. So I'd like to even attempt those and just go through the Bible and, and find other songs there and set those to music as well. And then beyond that, I don't know, we'll see where it goes. I've had this YouTube channel for many years. Started out in the beginning as like just a place to share videos with for friends doing goofy stuff and one of the things we used to like do was uh, record uh, recorders doing stupid dances to music. I remember uploading a video of Chumbawamba and Tub Fumbling and doing a doing a kind of a stupid video. It's like it's like a one minute long or something like that, really short. And I remember getting a copyright strike. At the time YouTube rolled out this copyright algorithm and it's like, well you have used 30 seconds of this song. Um I had to take it down. And then, and it's like, okay, that's fine. I was using an artist's music. The purpose wasn't to share the music or distribute it. The purpose was to share a funny video with, with, with friends, but fair enough. Um, and then what I noticed was like, I was uploading personal videos and I found that there'd just be a little bit of music in the background. And it might not even be me playing it. It may be something that was playing just kind of going through a, you know, walking somewhere or going through a location and there's, there's, there's this music in the background. And then of course, mm -hmm. YouTube's algorithm picks that up again. It's like, oh yes, you, you're, you are, your video is flagged because uh, you're using this, this recording artist that you've never heard of, don't even care about, right? And so, oh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna take away monetization and, and, and put that on, you know, give that to that artist instead. And that, that just really annoyed me. <laughs> immensely because it's like I've been uploaded a whole video it's like 10 minutes long there's like there's a little bit at the end where there is there's some some music in the background I'm not playing it in some stage somewhere right 30 seconds or whatever it's like oh yeah well because of that the whole video is now theirs the whole, all the all the money goes to all money needs to go to them because it's like that, that video you have it's their content now that you're using so so I, I just what that did was that really, I just, if I had that happen to videos, I'd just take the videos down, I'd just take them off. It's like, fine, fine YouTube, you don't get them, fine, I don't share them, because they, they're my videos. They don't belong to some stupid recording artist that I've never heard of, that I don't care about, and I don't listen to their music, and I don't really care to distribute their music either. Then then YouTube added something where it's like, you can, oh, you can overwrite the music. This little bit of track, you can just blank it out. So I did that for some videos, but it's really discouraging, really discouraging. So for many, for a lot of a lot of years, I've had this YouTube channel. It's a legacy channel because um, I had it when YouTube really first started, and I haven't really done much with it. And those times when I attempted to start doing something, I always got hit with, I always got hit and discouraged by these stupid, you know, copyright violations. But one of the amazing things about I'm I'm heavily into Linux and open source, and I open source a lot of code and bits of software that I've developed myself. And uh, one of the amazing things about sort of the the open source movement and the Creative Commons movement is like there's now websites and platforms where you can get 
digital art, photographs, stock photos, stock videos, and stock music, which is a Creative Commons, available even for commercial purposes, and completely free. And that's like a great movement. So I, I started to use some stuff like that on my videos. And then more recently with, obviously with the advent of AI, yes, there are some, there are some questions still being worked out legally over the, the use of the data in training the models. However, I would say AI is here to stay in whatever form it is. In, in most cases, what we're finding is the rulings are that anything generated with AI doesn't have a copyright because it's not a person that's generated it. And so it's kind of free to use. And a lot of the platforms also, you have to check the terms, but a lot of the platforms are terms if you're paying for a subscription, generally they say anything you generate belongs to you. And so one of the great things of having platforms like OpenAI, ChatGPT, Suno, and some of the other video generation platforms is that you can generate completely original new content on there. So that's really beneficial for, for a project like this. But also you'll notice that I'm using when it comes to the Bible, this is the crazy thing as well, is that the Bible itself, the, trans, the English translations of the Bible are subject to copyright and a lot, a lot of people know that. Now a lot of, the, a lot of the, the translating companies do have very, very generous terms. You can quote lots and lots, I think the, the, the American Standard Version is something like you can quote 4,000 lines or, or something like that. But you can, they have generous terms, but they are subject to copyright. And yet, a lot of places, a lot of places in the world give away Bibles for free. That's whether that violates the copyright or not, potentially, because you're distributing copyrighted works, you probably are violating copyright. Although you're not going to find many of these companies are, are going to sue people for sharing the word of God. I mean, that would be a first. And who knows? The times we are living in, that's always a possibility. <laughs> if Disney ever owns a, a Bible translation, that may happen. Um, what you'll notice is that I do use, I started out using the, the World English Bible because that's a favorite translation of mine because it's, it's distributed as public domain. So it's a great work. It means you can use it any way you want. It's amazing. It's an amazing translation. The only thing is, is I noticed like the, the Psalms, they use, they use the name Yahweh for God, which is nothing wrong with that because that's, that's God's, one of God's names, Yahweh. And that's correct. And I, I, I don't know Hebrew or Greek, so I don't know what the, I don't know how I would interpret the, uh, the original Hebrew, but obviously in a lot of translations, it's usually God or Lord. Although sometimes for some songs, the name Yahweh really does have a good sort of ring to it and fits. I then discovered the Berean Standard Bible, which is also a public domain Bible, not as widely known or distributed. And certainly it's not, it doesn't feature on many of the Bible apps. So I think on the web you can get PDF copies of it for free, but they do use the word God and they use the Lord, which is a bit more, a bit more accessible I'd say so I've decided to switch to Berean Standard Bible for the songs and yeah I think it, it works I think it works well who knows maybe I'll, I'll switch it up again or maybe I'll find another translation another Bible translation I don't know any Hebrew but it'd be cool if, if it'd be cool to do a song in the original Hebrew and there are there are channels on YouTube there's I, I believe that there are actual people who, who are, are well-studied, Jewish people I've seen who have actually studied the Bible. Somehow they've, they've, they've managed to figure out what the music would sound like, what the original instruments were, and they can actually play the original sort of the Psalms in the original music. And there's a channel on YouTube I think you can find there, you can search for it, which is amazing. And that's that to me is an even more awesome and valuable project. To really listen to what, what the, the song probably sounded like back then when it was sung by David, for example. But in this case, the purpose of this is to connect with, with us as modern people living in the, the cusp of the 21st century, to connect with us and to, to bring it to life. And I, and I, I certainly find that these, these songs are brought to life using AI. And I think that's a, it's a fantastic tool for that of being able to really help you feel the, the psalm connect with it in a way as you would with, with any sort of modern worship music from famous Australian churches or, or, 
or wherever else. But yeah, so I'm not a ex experienced or skilled YouTuber, and it's, it would feel weird to call myself that. 100 subscribers, not very big. But I'm trying to learn the skills. I'm learning as I go along, getting better. I watch, I watch other YouTubers, watch a lot of YouTube content, pick up little tri a few tricks here and there, hopefully get better at that. The intention is always to keep this free. I may, maybe if I get if you get good enough and you help me grow, then I can sort of monetize the channel. But the goal would be to share these and eventually maybe just put them out in the, into a, it's like a downloadable playlist or something so you can listen to them in your car. Um, I definitely would appreciate liking the videos and, and, and share those with other people, let them know. I'm really keen that if people have specific suggestions for specific Psalm songs, and there's a couple of people who've suggested them, but they're like Psalm, 39 or 119 or, or whatever so it's like I haven't got to that yet but if you have a suggestion for like Psalm 21, 22, 23 as it's coming up in the next which I plan to do in the next few weeks then you can suggest a, a, a type of music I mean I have preferences for music as well so for me it's very hard then to select a music a style of music that I don't like listening to but if you guys have a suggestion for a style of music I'd be willing to give it a shot for example I'm not really big into reggae not keen on reggae I can't if I read through a psalm I'm trying to get a feel for what I think would it would work and if I saw something that I think would work with reggae then I would be willing to attempt it and just giving that as an example of style if you want to if you want me to try any style of music let me know I absolutely appreciate any suggestions yeah so I think that's that's about it that's all I wanted to share. Like I say, I'm not used to doing these types of videos and, and showing my face and talking, honestly, because I don't like looking at my face and I don't like listening to myself speak. So often I like to sort of be in the background and, and to be honest, I, I'm, I'm not very good on video as well. I tend to have a, I tend to sort of go, used to go quite, quite quiet and become a deer in headlights. It's just because I'm better, I'm better with photos or I'm better with something else that I'm creating. But yeah, this is my first video doing this, this kind of style, this vlog or whatever and talking to the camera. So not, I'm not natural at it. It's I feel kind of awkward usually when I do this kind of thing. But hopefully, hopefully I haven't put you off. Hopefully you will continue to watch. If you've managed to uh, sit through all that and listen to that and you like what you heard, great. Yeah, tell your friends or whatever. Uh, like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Thanks for thanks for listening.